If we look at the human brain as a computer, we then have to ask what is the software we use with that computer. Well, in general, the software, at least of Western civilization, was originally designed 2,400 years ago by the Greek gang of three, the GG3, who were, of course, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. We've done virtually nothing about thinking since then. Creative thinking is a skill. It's not just a matter of individual talent. It's not just a matter of sitting by the river and playing Baroque music and hoping you get inspired. That's very weak stuff. 2,000 years ago, China was way ahead of the West in science and technology. They had rockets and gunpowder and such things. What happened? What happened, the scholars in China started to believe that you could move from certainty to certainty, and as a result, they never developed the possibility system never developed hypothesis, speculation, imagination. Progress came to a dead end. One of the very important things about creativity is that the new idea, the creative idea, must have value. Far too many people who believe they are creative think that just being different for the sake of being different is creative. It is not, and that is what gets creativity a bad name. So if you look at a door and you say doors are normally rectangular, let's make a triangular door. Now, unless you can show value for that, that is not creativity. That is just being different for the sake of being different. Now, one of the reasons people are reluctant to be creative in general is that if you try out an idea and it doesn't work, that is regarded as a mistake. Now, a big deficiency in language, certainly in the English language, is we don't have a word which says fully justified venture, which for reasons beyond your control did not succeed. So anything which did not succeed is called a mistake, and people don't like mistakes because that stands in the way of their promotion and their career. Provocation is uh, one of the methods of lateral thinking, one of the tools of lateral thinking. It is completely contrary to the opposite of our normal logical thinking. In our normal logical thinking, you can only say things which make sense, which fit our experience and fit in with what we've said before. With a provocation, there may not be a reason for saying something until after you have said it. But because it puts us down in a different position in the patterning system, it allows us to open up new ideas. Thinking outside the box means thinking for unusual ideas, being creative. The notion is that we are all within a certain box which is formed by the constraints, by our expectations, by the concepts we use, by the perceptions we use, and we play around in that box. So thinking outside the box means escaping from, breaking out of the box to change concepts, change perceptions, change constraints, change rules, and develop new ideas. It really it means developing an idea which would not have been expected in our usual behavior, in our usual thinking. So it's just another term for creative thinking, unusual thinking, or lateral thinking. I prefer the term lateral thinking because that is very specifically defined in system terms, which means moving across from the main pattern to a side pattern, which once you're there, in hindsight, you can link up with your starting point. But thinking outside the box is a general term, meaning unusual ideas, ideas which would not have arisen within the box of your usual thinking.